Hazrat Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anhuma reported, I asked, O Messenger of Allah, if I realize Laylatul Qadr, what should I supplicate in it? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa replied, He should supplicate, Allahumma innaka afoon tuhibbul afwa fafu anni. That means, O Allah, you are most forgiving and you love forgiveness. So, forgive me. This dua, which you can see on the screen, has a great significance and we should learn this to recite during the last 10 days of Ramadan. The night of Laila Til Qadr, the night of power, or considered as the night of decree in the month of Ramadan, is of a great significance. Holy Quran was sent down in this night. This night is better than a thousand months. Whatever good deeds you do in this night, it's like you did it for 1000 months or more than 83 years. Authentic Hadith says, Laylatul Qadr happens in the last 10 days in an odd night of Ramadan. Allah the Almighty says in the Holy Quran, Indeed, we sent the Quran dawn during the night of decree. And what can make you know more? What is the night of decree? The night of decree is better than a thousand months. The angels and the spirit descend therein by permission of their Lord for every matter. Peace it in until the emergence of dawn. Dear viewers, we are now going to learn something more about Laila Tilkadar by participating a quiz. You can also participate the quiz through the link down below. Before that, while watching the live uh, video uh, uh, live premiere, you can also write your answer in the comment box. You can share your opinion as well. The link in the description will proceed towards the quiz which would last up to 14th of this month. It will certainly be helpful to get to know more about Laylatul Qadr. So I would request you to share the quiz among your friends and family so that they also come forward to know more about the significance of the night Laylatul Qadr. Let's not wait anymore. I'm going to enter my name in order to join into the quiz. We have 17 questions. First question is what is Laila Til Qadr? So there is a video. Ramadan tajalla wa abtasama Tuba lillabdi idha tanama What is Laila Til Qadr? Was the Quran completely revealed in night of Laylatul Qadr? And what are the encouraging acts we should do in this night? Now, Laylatul Qadr is the night of decree. And it is one of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. <laughs> Let's go next one. The second question is Allah describes Laila in the 
Quran as being equal to The third question is which of the following events occurred during Lalatul Qadr? Uh, the Israel world of miracles, the Prophet was born, the migration from Mecca to Madina, the first revelation of Quran. When exactly is Laylatul Qadr? There is a video. <clears throat> the options are the 27th night of Ramadan, the 25th night of Ramadan, the final night of... There are a lot of different opinions. I'll just give you a brief rundown. Some of them, such as Abu Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said that Laylatul Qadr, the night of power, is on the 21st night of the month of Ramadan. Some other companions of the Prophet وسلم, such as uh, Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhumah, they said that the night of power, Laylatul Qadr, is the 23rd night of the month of Ramadan. And again, this is based off of their observations. Some of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum said that it was the 25th night, uh, based off of similar narrations about the Quran coming down. Then there's a large group of the companions of the Prophet وسلم, including Ubayy ibn Ka'b radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who mentions a narration from the Prophet وسلم, an authentic narration, in which it is said that the 27th night, and that's specifically based off of the fact that the Prophet وسلم, said there is a little bit Bit of light rain on the night of Laylatul Qadr. Nubay bin Ka'ab says, I went into the masjid and I saw a little bit of wa water trickling down through the roof of the masjid of the Prophet And when the Prophet got up from his prayer, some of his clothes and even on his forehead, there was a little bit of moisture and a little bit of the dirt from because of the moisture had clung to his forehead. And that was the 27th night. And based off of that, I was able to identify that the 27th night, in fact, is Laylatul Qadr. And there are even some narrations that the 29th night, because one time the Prophet ﷺ commented that the night that remains is Laylatul Qadr. And another weaker narration says the Prophet ﷺ said, the last night of Ramadan is Laylatul Qadr, referring to the 29th night in that particular year. So there are all these different opinions. When exactly yeah, is Laylatul Qadr? So that's the question. Then when it is the only yes. The question is the Prophet Islam told his companions to search for Laylatul Qadr on which nights during the last ten days of Ramadan. Okay, the odd nights uh, that are uh, okay. The second one is uh, the even nights. Third one is the seven night only. Could you and, uh, explain uh, which is the night, night of see. decree or the night of power? As far as the exact date or day of the night of power, according to Sahih Bukhari, the commentary of Sahih Bukhari, Fatul Bari. It says that there are more than 40 different versions which the scholars have given regarding the day or the date of the night of power. Some say it's the first night of the month of Ramadan. Some say it's the seventh night. Some say it's the 19th night. The different versions. But the most authentic 
according to the Sahih Hadith, is that it is one of the odd nights in the last ten nights of the month of Ramadan. And it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of Superiority of the Night of Qadr, Hadith number 2017, Allah's Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that seek for the night of Laylatul Qadr in the odd nights amongst the last 10 days of Ramadan. So this is the most authentic. And further it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the Book of Faith, Hadith number 49, Allah's Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that he once went out to tell the Muslims the exact date of the night of Qadr. Then he saw that two Muslim men, they were fighting amongst themselves. They were quarreling. And he said that so and so and so and so amongst the Muslim men, they were quarreling. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took away the knowledge. That means he forgot it. And the Prophet said, maybe it's better for the Muslims. So seek for the Laylatul Qadr on the 7th or the 9th or the 5th night amongst the last 10 nights of Ramadan. So here the option given by Allah's Messenger for the Laylatul Qadr. And further it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number 2, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2364, he said, by Allah, he heard Shoba saying, that most probably the night of Qadr is on the 27th night because the Prophet, peace be upon him, he asked us to stand up in prayer in this night. So according to this hadith, most probably it is the 27th night of Ramadan. Further it's mentioned in a Sahih Hadith in Tirmidhi that the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that seek for the night of Qadr on the 21st night, 23rd night, 25th night, on the 27th night, and the last night in the month of Ramadan. It's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of Atikaf, hadith number 2020, that the beloved Prophet, he used to do Atikaf in the last 10 days of Ramadan. And he used to seek for the Laylatul Qadr in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. It's further mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number two, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2621, that Prophet Muhammad said, that seek for the night of Qadr, Laylatul Qadr, in the last 10 nights. Let's see the next question. According to Sayyid al Bukhari regarding uh, Prophet Islam attitude during the question which act of worship did the Prophet Islam use to perform during the final 10 days of Ramadan to search for Lailatul Qadr? regarding Laylatul Qadr. Anyway, in which Laylatul Qadr is mentioned, 
is which surah in the Quran. So you have to type the answer. Uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr wa ma adraka ma laylatul qadr laylatul qadr khayrun min alf shahr تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر. So, this is 97th surah. The next question is uh, which creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So for the next question, that question, question but then is Bayratul Qadr last uh, between which two times? Answers. I'll keep it short, but I want you to remember the five things that I'm going to share with you, inshallah ta'ala, as we look out for Laylatul Qadr now. Sunday night begins the pursuit. Every single one of those nights has the potential to be the most consequential night of your life. And so for 10 nights, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be looking out to his creation. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that what he sees from us is pleasing to him. Allahumma ameen. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man qama laylatul qadr imanan wa ihtisaban ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min dhambihi. Whoever stands up, whoever observes laylatul qadr with faith and seeking the reward, Allah will forgive them for all of their previous sins. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst them, Allahumma ameen. So five things, dear brothers and sisters, I want you to carry with you, inshallah ta'ala, and to set your mind to from now as we get into these last 10 nights. Number one, as we go into the last 10 nights, and as we hope that we catch Laylatul Qadr, remembering that the night starts at Maghrib. Remembering that the night does not start at Isha, but the night starts at Maghrib. And some of the Salaf, they mentioned that this is such an important point for us as we go into these precious nights, because how many people at the time of their breaking of the fast will lose out their Laylatul Qadr before they pray a single rak'ah of Taraweeh, before they even make it to Salat al Isha. Why? Because over iftar, you might backbite, you might gossip, you might say something you should not be saying, you might do something that is not pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, this is the correct answer. Then, next question is uh, this is question number eleven. Whom did Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam teach the dua to recite during Laylatul Qadr? Allahumma inna kafun tuhibbu afwa afwa fafwa So it is uh,
chapter 13 is complete the hadith from uh, Bukhari and Muslim whoever prays on Laylatul Qadr out of faith and uh, uh, sincerity shall have <laughs> Ya Allah, Ya Allah, آخری اشرہ شروع ہو چکا ہے تیری مغفرت کا جہنم سے خلاصی کا ہے ساری امت محمد کو جہنم سے نجات عطا فرمائے ساری امت محمد کو جہنم سے نجات عطا فرمائے ساری امت محمد کو جہنم سے نجات عطا فرمائے پوری دنیا انسانیت کو کلمہ نصیب فرما دے پوری دنیا انسانیت کو کلمہ نصیب فرما دے پوری دنیا انسانیت کو کلمہ نصیب فرما دے جو تیرے علم میں فرعون ہیں شداد حامان قارون ہیں ان کے وجود سے دھرتی کو پاک فرما لے Question number 15 is which uh, describing Lailatul Qadr truly the angels on this night are as uh, numbers, uh, numerous as the dash. Question What is the meaning of the word Quran? possible the, uh, yes this is the last uh, question the quiz oh allah you are al dash write the missing word according to the dua mentioned in the last part of the video so we have to watch the video oh allah, oh allah you are al dash al the signs of Laylatul Qadr. The Prophet says Laylatul Qadri, Laylatun Samha. Laylatul Qadr is a soft night, it's a gentle night. La harra wa la barida. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's a very cool night, it's a very comforting night. Tusbihu shamsu sabihataha da'ifatan hamra. The sun rises that day, da'ifa hamra. It's it's weak, meaning it doesn't have rays and it's it's a reddish complexion, it's a reddish color. So you find every year in Ramadan, people taking pictures of the sun and trying to post them. Now here's the question. Was that a sign for that particular year? Like the year where the Prophet ﷺ had mud on his face. It rained a lot that night, or was that, uh, or is that a general sign? Al-Qadi Ayyad, he says there's two possibilities. One of them is that that's a distinctive sign that Allah Azza wa has given for Laylatul Qadr. All right, so, and, and every year you kind of look through those pictures and some of them seem a little bit more clear and you don't see the rays on them. And the second one which he said is very beautiful. He says that the amount of angels that come down on Laylatul Qadr take away the rays of the sun. <laughs> so SubhanAllah, even if a lot of people were praying Qiyamul Layl on a night, 
the amount of malaika that were descending on the earth, their wings, the, the light of their, of, their, of their creation, dulls the light of the sun altogether. So Allah Alam, this seems to be a sign of Laylatul Qadr every year. So looking at the sun and seeing if it's rayless, it's good. However, let's say that you catch it on the 22nd, you know, or 23rd night, someone posts a picture and you slept through that entire night and the sun looked absolutely rayless. Should you just say, oh well, maybe next Ramadan? No, التمسوها في آخر ليلة. Remember the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu seek it until the very last night. Because imagine how bad you'd feel if another picture came out <laughs> later on in the, in the month and guess what? It looked, it looked rayless as well, or it looked even more rayless if that's even possible, right? So the point is, Allah left it mysterious to keep you on your toes. And the best part of Laylatul Qadr is the last part of the night, as is the best part of every night. So the best part of Laylatul Qadr is the last third of the night, as well as the Prophet ﷺ says, في الليل ساعة, that there is an hour of the night that لا يوافقها عبد مسلم يسأل الله من خير الدنيا والآخرة إلا أعطاه الله ما سأل. That there is an hour of the night that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if He gives you the tawfiq, if He gives you the success to be able to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that part of the night, that He would certainly give you the, whatever you asked Him of this dunya and the akhirah. There's nothing you could ask Allah at that point of the night from this world or the hereafter, except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give it to you. As for the du'as that we make that night, Allahumma innaka afuwun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'afu anni. Oh Allah, you are al-afu. You are the one who pardons. You love the part. You love to pardon. So pardon me. So forgive me. You love to forgive. So forgive me. Yes, we have got the. Uh, yes, we have got the answer. I'm in the first position. Anyway, uh, there are opportunities for you to play the game and uh, yes. Anyway, uh, we should copy the link to get the result. We have come to the end of the quiz. Those who are going to participate, the uh, uh, schedule uh, quiz um, you can review the result through the link at the end as I have shown you uh, on this beautiful night of Laylatul Qadr we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for bestowing upon us the privilege of this holy night and we pray that the Lord accepts all of our good deeds and acts accepts all our prayers and dua and grants all of our legitimate desire both in this world and in the hereafter thank you very much